Trans Twitter just tried to cancel Finster. I don't know if any of you have seen this. Uh, it's it's wild. So if you're unfamiliar with Finster, Finster is a femboy. Very popular Twitch streamer, YouTuber. The trans community tends to be at odds with Finster sometimes. And a lot of it just seems to be because Finster is really hot. If I'm honest, like I feel like if Finster was not as hot as he is, the trans community would not be as mad about Finster. As I said, you know, like, real Finster's really hot. That's like Finster's entire deal is being hot. And I've seen countless trans women be like, I needed to block Finster, I needed to mute Finster, I needed to unfollow Finster because Finster gives me gender dysphoria, which I feel like that's not fair. Finster is essentially a softcore sex worker. If you watch some of Finster's streams, Finster does sub goals that include forced feminization. Most of Finster's content is thirst trapping people or Minecraft. And then the Minecraft content is like mixed in with the femboy content. I feel like it's just really weird. You're following Finster and you think Finster's too hot. It's like, I have to unfollow because uh, this makes me feel bad about myself. I feel like that's like, that's like getting mad if you follow like, if you followed like a food page. And then you were like, um, I, need it, I need to unfollow this food page because I'm on a diet and I don't like looking at food. It's like, that's okay, but you don't have to like try and make it Finster's problem. That said, the current discourse is not something I have gone into. This is what sparked the discourse. The discourse got sparked by this um, fake transition timeline tweet. This is Jay Slot. I'm not enough of a Zoomer to really understand who Jay Schlatt is. I think he makes uh, YouTube videos about cereal. And this is Finster, obviously. And let's go through the quote tweets. I've been seeing it like all over my timelines. I just find it a little weird that this is a cis man who profits off of people who fetishize trans femmes. The thing that like I don't understand is that it, it, it's not about fetishizing trans. Cause I feel like it would be different if Finn identified as a trans woman or said that they said that he's a trans woman, but he doesn't. He doesn't say those things. So I don't understand why they would be like, Finster is profiting off of people fetishize trans women. It doesn't make sense to me. Like cross-dressing and being a trans woman are very different. Finn profits off of people who fetishize femininity. Doesn't, but, but couldn't you make that argument about literally every sex worker? that dresses femininely. Like most sex work in general profits off of fetishization. If fetishization didn't exist, most trans women would not even be able to get jobs in sex work, unfortunately. It's a really fucked reality. Keffels is watching you now. Oh fuck, are we really doing this? <laughs> oh no! <laughs> God damn it, Keffels, I, I tuned in to hear your take, God damn it, it was interesting. When I, you <laughs> brush your hair, I die. It is so cute. Okay. I wanted to know, because as far as things go, Someone's opinion, like, as far as, as far as someone to give an opinion about it on the topic, it's a solid, it's a solid one. Um, there's like, it's been something that uh, I haven't really, uh, seen on Twitter before, I guess. I don't know if they're still watching, but I'm going to keep talking like they are. But, uh, I, it's, I, I've never really been in that sort of situation on Twitter where I got into drama with the trans community. Like, I get that there's always going to be people. There was always people that were, um... They didn't like me because what I did, they saw it, they did see it as, like, profiting off the trans community. It's partly why I keep yelling that I'm not trans, that I'm a cis guy. I don't want to be, I'm not part of it, I don't speak for that community. Uh, but obviously I can't, tr I can't insist that people watch hours and hours and hours of content in order to know my character. You know what I mean? But that was my thing. <laughs> and, uh, the, you know. Before and after photos, not exactly. I don't even. There's no mention of me being trans. It's just trans people. Here saying you get some it bits is. from a sis. I think before and after photos uh, was taken uh, as a slight insult to the trans people because um, it was a meme trending specifically. Identity on trans theft, FTW. I mean, like, with. I guess, but it's always. Like, before and. Transition timelines have always been a thing. All right. Um, if you want to talk about it, feel free to hit me up on Discord. Oh, fuck yeah, dude. All right. I leave. Um, where am I going? Okay, I'm back. Oh yeah, no, Finn. Finn is actually incredibly normy. Uh, I I used to hang out with like Finn and Mariza, and we used to like play Fortnite. It was fun. Those were good days. I leave. Trigger my dysphoria big time. 
Yeah, but it just, it feels like a lot of the criticisms against him are rooted in this, but that's also not his fault. I've, like, I've, I've seen a lot of people say this. Yeah, like, I get the dysphoria thing, but also people have used looking at you gives me dysphoria. They've used that against me in a really nasty way. Like, I've faced abuse by other trans people, um, like verbal and mental abuse from other trans people because of that specifically a lot of tiktok people keep discoursing about finn and saying femboys are trans oh yeah that's a big that's a big tiktok thing so on tiktok uh they're making the argument that femboys are inherently transphobic and they're trying to popularize the term rose boy instead which it's that's fucking I don't know. That's weird to me. It's weird when someone's like, I identify as a femboy and you're like, no, that's problematic. You're a rose boy. It's like, okay, you can't choose someone else's identity. That's literally not how that works. Also, it's a, it's a really, weird, yeah, it's a weird term. I know it ain't just me who finds this weird. Feels like he's using our label for, he's not, but he didn't say it. He, like the entire time that I've, I've known Finn, Finn has never said I am trans. Okay, but does the post imply trans? I th I can see where people are coming from, where this is the transition timeline, but I've seen Finn do this a lot of times in the past, not even in a way where it's implying that Finn is trans, but just Finn, like, working on his body and perfecting his um, techniques with different things like hair and makeup and the way that he's dressing. Like, if anything, it's innocent, right? Hi, I just followed. I'm a trans woman. Finn was actually just saying earlier when someone asked about how to come out that he isn't trans and isn't a place and can't speak for us. I'm going to be celebrating 12 years since I started hormones in five days. So it's like, I see where the anger is coming from, you know? Like, because it's framed as if it's a transition timeline, a lot of people are saying that, okay, this one's funny. I want to support you, but you're British. A lot of people are saying, um that finn gives them dysphoria but i don't you know i don't think that's a fair crit that's a fair criticism yeah putting two pictures together doesn't make it a transition timeline either i'm pretty sure in the mind of like in finn's mind putting this together it was just like a before and an after there's an undertone of you find this hot well guess what it's a boy ha 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 that can be a little uncomfortable when you've been subject to the whole trap thing yourself but I don't think that's a problem with femboy creators so much as the demands of their audience. Yeah, that's like, that's one of the issues, right? Like, at the start, I said that, like, I see Finster essentially as, like, an extremely softcore sex worker. Like, Finster streams include, like, forced fit, forced feminization sub goals. Where it's like, there's like, I think there's a sub goal called, like, girl month or something. And if Finster reaches the goal, Finster has to dress like a girl the entire month. I don't, I don't tune in very often. I think it's okay to just be a dude who dresses up like a girl sometimes. I don't really understand. There seems to be a lot of trans femmes that are upset that a cross-dressing cishet man is popular. Yeah, it's like, I feel shitty for saying it, but it feels like a lot of the reason why they're mad at Finster is envy that's it like if finster wasn't hot i don't think this would happen i think that's it like honestly i do not think that this would be a thing if finster was not hot if finster wasn't hot he'd still be doing the minecraft stuff. okay true is it just me or is the trap thing largely a trans uh trans woman trans woman cis man dynamic like as a trans lesbian cis lesbians don't have a haha <laughs> that's actually a guy it's weird because um like i've been back and forth on the trap discourse when I was just coming out, Trap definitely referred to just a trans woman, but now I've seen there's an entire contingent of uh, men online who are convinced that Trap only refers to men, and if you are a trans woman, you cannot be a Trap. However, I don't think that the people that necessarily fetishize trans women actually care that much about the distinction there. People use the word on trans women to call them men a lot of the time. It's weird because I don't see it, like... I don't see it online a lot as much as I just see transphobic slurs. I don't know if it's because I I don't like the kinds of chasers that other trans women get. I don't really get those. I I don't know why. I think it's probably because I don't have a penis. It's it's like when, once you remove the penis, a lot of the chasers just 
vanish. They're just, nope. They, they fucking nope out of there. I like that people like Finn exist. I like that there are representations of male femininity that aren't necessarily trans people, you know? Like, it's not trans women. It's just feminine men that like to dress up like women. I think that's awesome, especially because it seems like the only time I see that a lot is with the drag community, and I find drag is just, it's too campy for my taste, you know? It's not everyone's cup of tea. But it qualifies gender nonconforming? Oh, absolutely. Like, I definitely think, like, Finn is definitely not a gender conforming person. All right, here, here's what Finn's take was. If I was gender conforming, this would be completely fine. It's just gatekeeping before and after photos for gender nonconforming people. It's not trans timeline or a joke about them. It's a joke about a friend. Neither me or Slat are trans. I'm just wearing a skirt. See, that that's completely that's completely fine. Why is it exclusively a trans thing? I don't get it. Yeah, don't don't bodybuilders and uh, people who lose weight do the same. That's that's kind of why I think this became a thing in the first place. This is a good exchange. I do wonder how this was taken, though. Like, what the fuck is this? I don't care about gender nonconforming people that are not trans. In fact, I wipe my ass with your identity and spit on the prospect of your validity being centered in my face. Like, you should get help. That's an unhinged thing to say to someone. Yeah, he's just existing. Like, he's not centering himself front and center of the trans community. Like, he doesn't even identify as trans. Yeah, he got DM death threats over this. That's... <laughs> to their credit, it looks like the OP accepted it and backed down. Yeah, I'm happy about that. See, I think there's this issue, right? Where trans people tend to form very tight-knit communities with each other. And part of the reason that they do that is because they're not as accepted in mainstream society. It really sucks when a marginalized community that exists outside of the normal rule set in cisgender heteronormative society then starts erecting all of these rules and gatekeeping who is and who is not part of that community i hate that like i thought i thought like with the lgbt community you know we're supposed to be accepting of the people who aren't accepted I facilitated an IRL trans support group for several years and people would very often bottle up all their trauma only to let it out in a word salad of pain. Twitter makes it easy and often rewards it to lash out at others for various imagined infractions. Oh yeah, no, that that's definitely a thing. Where queer people get shit on by other queer people far more than they get shit on by cis people, heterosexual people. Like, not that, like... The violence is obviously worse, but like the kind of ruthless criticism is very specific and intense. And when it's coming from the people that you think should have your back and are closer to you and understand who you are, it hurts more. Is that because queer people hang out mostly with other queer people? Yeah, and it's also because most, most queer people, like most trans people, are traumatized. Trans people have significantly higher rates of post-traumatic stress disorder, of other mental health issues, of suicide attempts, etc. Because of that trauma, a lot of people have their guards up 24-7. And when they see someone commit a wrong, whether it's real or imagined, they want to excise that person from the community. That's a thing that I have seen for well over a decade now. Because people get hurt, they put their guards up, and... They want to push people away when they think that those people are a threat to them and to their community. But a lot of the time, it's it's not actually real. It's not real. It's like just an imagined hurt. It just feels a little weird to see a cis man who exists adjacently to trans women succeed without any of the risks of being a trans woman while many trans women fear a public presence simply for existing as trans women. I mean, I... Be because I'm a trans woman, I have been swatted. Uh, I've been arrested. I've had five different swatting attempts. I have had to leave the fucking continent because of harassment. I, you know, I'm aware of how much it fucking sucks being trans and having a public presence. And I struggled a lot to even get to where I got. But I don't think that has to do much with Finn. If Finn were to dress in public the way that Finn dresses on stream and then gets clocked in public 
it's not going to matter whether or not Finn is trans or cis. Yeah, no, it's it's weird. No, you're right. Like, there's no reason to believe that Finn has been immune to bigotry for being gender nonconforming. It's weird to assume he's never faced it. I don't I don't know if appropriation is fair either. Like, how is cross-dressing appropriation? I look at before and after photos on Reddit every day. Many are way prettier than I'll ever be. And sure, sometimes it'll make me feel bad. I'll stop looking, but I could never be anything but happy for them. I actually saw this post by Finster before the stream started and didn't react at all. People need to calm down. Yeah, like, I think it's it's really overblown. Now, like, if I'm missing something here, please let me know. I was literally saying this to my partner less than an hour ago. It's head-ass that I get this feeling, but I think it gives me the same feeling TERFs have of female blackface, and that's not a feeling that's worth feeding my energy because it's just wrong. Yeah, because it's like Finster, what Finster's doing doesn't have anything to do with being trans. Yeah, no, no, okay, you're, that take, that takes on, on the spot. People say that we need to normalize cishet men wearing more feminine clothing, but then get mad when a cishet man actually does that. I think it's actually pretty cool to have someone as high profile as Finster just being a dude and doing what he does. He makes it easier. Like, he, he does. By, by doing that, he actually does make it easier for trans people. Anytime anyone, any dude who has a profile dresses more femininely, you're able to shift, a, shift the culture. Faye has a thread about it. A lot of respect for feminine guys that essentially just look like women but aren't trans. That said, the way some of them milk the whole trap thing and baiting people into thinking they're trans just to turn around like, haha, I'm a dude, really rubs me the wrong way. I don't know. Especially certain people that make a lot of money from it. Like, I'm sorry, I just can't. Gives me the biggest wave of secondhand embarrassment. Listen, nothing is going to make me think that, that it's not weird and I'm uncomfortable for me as a trans woman to witness someone make being mistaken as trans into a bit and gimmick and essentially they're okay but they're not trying to no that that's not it it's not about being trans it's about being a woman it's finn is trying to make people think that finn is a cisgender woman not a trans woman finn does th that's a lot of assumption yeah people aren't reading all the text or they're going largely largely from pictures or they don't know anything about finster it seems like like, I don't know. When I was younger, I got really mad about drag queens. I felt the same way about drag queens. I was like, why is it that these gay men are dressing up like women and turning being a woman into a performance? I got so mad about drag queens, but now I don't give a shit because I realize that has nothing to do with me. Like, that's an entirely different thing than being trans. Gender nonconformity is a huge spectrum. And it doesn't all look the same. And it feels weird to just like shit on people who for not being trans enough, but also holding them to the same set of expectations you would a trans person. Yeah, trans drag queens are literally being threatened with guns and called pedophiles right now. And they're not trans. Drag queens predominantly are gay men. I don't think Faye is in the wrong here. I just think that this is a lot of it just comes from a place of hurt. You guys can think this is about me being bothered by gender non-conforming people if you want, but I love dudes that just look like pretty girls. I just, just not the ones that go online and try and provoke a respo response of shock out of people and monetizes the whole trope of trans women seducing, trapping men. But it's not about trans, it's not about trans women. It's a different thing. It's like, why? Th they keep trying to put Finster in this box of being a trans woman, but Finster's not a trans woman. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I feel like that's kind of just it with the Finster stuff. I...